Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the condenser motor in a Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a real easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a long Phillips screwdriver, a short Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new condenser motor. The purpose of the condenser motor is to remove heat from the compressor and condenser coil. The main reasons why you would be replacing the condenser motor are because the motor becomes noisy or it stops running completely. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the screws and lift the access panel of the hooks. Here is the condenser motor assembly next to the compressor in the center. Push on the tab and disconnect the harness plug. Remove the drain tube out of the way. Using the smaller Phillips screwdriver, take out the screw that holds the condenser motor housing. Slide the housing forward to release it from the clips, then take it out. Bring the housing assembly to a workable surface. Try to pull the blade off the motor shaft. If you do not succeed, grab the shaft with the pliers and pry the blade off with a flat blade screwdriver. Remove the wire harness from the retainer clips and pull the harness back. Remove the Phillips screw and using the flat blade screwdriver, detach the rear cover and lift it up. Pull out the motor, push on the locking tab and disconnect the wire harness and remove the grommets. This is the old condenser motor next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Begin with putting the grommets on both ends of the motor shaft. Connect the wire harness plug. Put the motor inside the protective cover, close it and lock it in. Pull on the wire harness and install it through the retainer clips. Install the Phillips screw. Push the fan blade onto the shaft as far as it can go. Make sure the fan blade turns freely. Next, you need to get on the floor and position the motor housing on the base and slide it back in under the clips. Using the small screwdriver, secure it with a Phillips screw. Connect the harness plug. Install the drain tube. Install the rear access panel on the bottom hooks and then secure it with the Phillips screws. Plug the fridge back in and make sure the condenser motor is running and the fridge is cooling down. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.